All right then, gang, so far we show the time and the place on this home screen. Now, it would be nice if we could show maybe a background image, either night or day, depending on what time of day it is. Now, to do that, I'm going to have to show you how to use a ternary operator. I mean, this is not the only way to do it, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to use a ternary operator in Dart. So what I'm going to do is go to the world time class over here, and I'm going to create, first of all, an extra property, and this will be a boolean, so bool, and then we'll call this is day time, like that. So this is basically going to be either true or false. If it's true, then it is going to be daytime. If it's false, then it's going to be nighttime. So true or false if daytime or not. Okay, so then we'll use that to find out whether we should show either the night image or the day image and maybe even have a background color so it shows at the top as well. And we'll see all that in a second. So first of all, we need to set this to either true or false. So we need to evaluate a condition, and then if that condition is true, then we'll set it to true. If that condition is false, then we'll set it to false. Now to do this, we can use what's known as a ternary operator. And a ternary operator is pretty much the same in most programming languages. It goes something like this. We have a value, which is gonna be is daytime. So we're saying, okay, well, we're gonna set this value right here. And that is going to be equal to some kind of condition. And that condition is going to evaluate to either true or false. And then we have a question mark after that. And then we have the value we want to return and assign to this variable if this condition evaluates to true. And what we'll do is say, OK, well, if that's the case, daytime is going to be true. And then we do a colon. And if this evaluates to false, we pass back some kind of value that we want to apply to this variable if this is false, and in this case, it's gonna be false as well. Now, these don't have to be booleans right here. This could be a string, and this could be a string. Doesn't really matter. Just so happens that we're storing a boolean inside this variable. Now, we need some kind of condition to evaluate. So, what we want to find out is, for example, is the time now, so this date time that we have, because we've not converted it into a string yet, this date time that we currently have, is that, say, between the hours of six in the morning and eight at night. So if that was the case, then it would be daytime. So what we could say is now dot hour, and that gets us the hour, and that can be anything from zero to 23. Uh, so is that greater than six? So greater than 6 a.m. And so we're evaluating two conditions at once here. They both have to be true for this to pass. Now dot hour is less than 20, which is eight o'clock. So if the hour is greater than six and the hour is less than 20, that means that the time right now is between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. So that in my eyes would equate to being daytime. So if this is true, if the hour is somewhere between there, then is daytime is gonna be assigned this value of true. It is daytime. If it's not, it means that it's either before 6 a.m. or after 8 p.m. And in that case, it means that it's nighttime. So therefore, we're going to return false because this will be false now. And then false will be applied to this variable. OK, I hope that makes sense. So now what I'd like to do is actually pass this value into the home page because we need to use it right here. Because currently, we won't get it because we're not passing it to this page from the loading widget. We only pass these things at the minute. So let's now pass that fourth property, and that is called is daytime, and we set it equal to instance dot is daytime. Okay, so now we're passing that through. Let's save this and let's go to the home and let's just try this because we're printing the data. Let's see if we get that through. So I'm going to run this, go to hot restart like so. And we should see the loading screen momentarily and then we see the time and now we can see is daytime is true so now we have this variable true inside this widget we can use that to decide whether to show a night image or a daytime image now you can find those images that we're going to use on my github repo for this tutorial series just make sure you're on the lesson 33 branch then go into the assets folder and you're going to see day and night so you can download those right here okay so they look something like this. They're quite huge. I'm not sure why I made these so big, to be honest. But um, you can downsize them if you want, which you probably should do. But anyway, I've already downloaded these images right here. And they're inside this world time 
folder. So what I'm going to do is just grab both of those, the night and the day, and I'm going to move them over into this thing, this project over here. So let's now create an images folder inside world time. So go to new and then go to directory and we'll call this assets. And then inside there, we want to put these two things. So press OK. And now we should see those. OK, night and day are in there. So now we have those inside assets. We need to tell our Flutter app where to find those. So we need to open up the pubspec file to do that. Let's scroll down to where we're using the assets right here. So uncomment that and zoom this assets word back one space. Then we just need to specify the images or rather the assets folder. And because we're going to be using multiple images directly inside this folder, I don't need to specify every individual file. I can just use that and then we can use any file directly inside that folder. So let's save this and head back over to home. Click get dependencies as well. And now we can start to use these images. So what we need to do now is perform some kind of check to see, look, is from the data that we get here, is it daytime or is it nighttime? So again, I'm going to use another Boolean to decide what the background image is going to be. So under here, I'm going to do a little comment to say set background. And then I'm going to create a new string and we'll call that BG image and set it equal to data that we receive through this thing right here. And then we want inside that the is daytime is daytime property. So that is going to be a Boolean, either true or false. So we're going to evaluate that inside a ternary operator. So question mark, then if it's true, we return one value, which is going to be day.png, because if this is true, it means it's daytime. Therefore, inside this variable, we're going to store this value, day.png, which is what this is called, day.png. Then colon, and if it's false, we're going to give the value night.png to this variable instead. So now, dependent on this thing right here, if this is true or false, we're either going to get day or night.png stored inside this variable. So now we can use this to output an image down here somewhere. So this is actually going to be a background image. And to output this, we're going to use a combination of a container and a decoration image inside a box decoration. Now we've not seen this before and a box decoration widget gives us a way to apply some kind of background image to fit the screen. So let me show you how we do this. It's going to surround everything inside this padding. So I'm going to go to this padding and then say wrap with new widget. And first of all, it's going to be a container. It must be in a container first of all. Now inside this container, we're going to have a decoration property. And this decoration property will be a box decoration. Now, if you do get confused with this, you can just check out the docs because it shows you what all of these widgets are for. I mean, I don't have enough time in this video series to go through every single widget and every single property and explain every little bit, but you can read more about them on the documentation. It is really well documented and shows all the different properties that can be applied to every single widget. But this box decoration widget right here can go inside a container and then we can use an image property inside that. Now, we're not just going to use an asset image directly here. What we're going to do is use what's known as a decoration image. And this is basically going to allow us to apply a background image to the whole thing around here. So this widget is going to take in two properties. It's an image, first of all, which this time is going to be an asset image. And inside there, we need to pass through the path to the image we want to use. So I'll say assets and we'll hard code this for now. We'll just say night.png and then below that we want to say fit and then this is going to be box fit dot cover so what that means is that it's going to cover the entire screen that's what this fit property determines how it should fit inside the container and this cover means it's going to cover the entire container all over the screen so it should be the full background image so i'm going to save this right now and see if this works and we can see now that we get this background image. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And 
what I'd like to do now is instead of hard coding, in fact, let's see the day one first of all. So day and save that. And now we see this image as well. Okay, so they look okay. But what I would like to do is instead of hard coding these, output whatever value is inside BG image, because that's going to be either day or night.png. So let's do this. I'm going to say dollar and then BG image like so. Now, if I save it, because it's 3.05 p.m., and we said that if it's between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m., then it should be day. This is obviously true, and therefore, we're getting day.png back, and that's what we're outputting right here. So that's why we see the day image. But if we were to just tweak this and say, for example, okay, well, if this is after 15, which is 3 p.m., then it's night. Save this now. We should see the night image over here now, but I do have to do a hot restart because we're changing the data. So I'll do that, and now we see a night image. Obviously, it makes no sense to be 3 p.m., so let's change this back to 8, which is 20, and then hot restart again, and that is, I think, going to look a lot better. Okay, so we get the daytime image now. So one more thing, or rather two more things I want to do. You see at this top strip over here, this is still grey, and I'd like it to be a blue colour. Now, I'd like it to be a light blue colour if it's daytime and I'd like it to be a dark blue color if it's nighttime. And the reason we get this, by the way, is just because this image is not covering under this very top strip. If we apply a background color to this scaffold, it will be visible under this strip. So what I'm gonna do is do another ternary operator now to find out what background color we could use. Now, the type of this data is gonna be a color. So we'll say color, and we've seen this before when we've used a color down here in the widget tree. So it's going to be a background color, and we'll say that is going to be equal to data, and we still want to evaluate the same variable, is daytime, and then if that is true, then we want it to be a light blue, so let's return colors, and then dot blue, and we'll just leave it as the default blue, which is this kind of bright blue right there, and then if it's nighttime, we'll return instead colors, and it will be this time indigo, and strength 700 to darken it a little bit. So this indigo color is like a, a dark blue, if you like, and that's gonna match up with the night image. This blue is gonna match up with this image. So let's apply this background color to the scaffold. We'll say background color, and that is gonna be colors, or rather not colors. We just wanna use this variable right here. So let's pass that in and save it. And now we should see that blue color right here. If it was night, so let's change this again to 15, so three o'clock, and then run this again. We should see the darker color, which we do. And that goes with this image a bit more. Okay, one more thing I wanna do, and that is change the colors of all these things over here. Because at the minute, they don't stand out very well against this background. First of all, let me change this back to 20 and save it, then hard or rather hot restart, and then Let's go back to our home page, and this time what we're going to do is come down to, first of all, the icon over here. So we can color the icon so that it's like a light gray or something like that. So let's cut that and go down to the next line and paste it in. And the second property inside this icon is going to be the color property, and that is going to be colors dot gray and then a light gray. So just strength 300. Save that, and we should see a lighter icon. Cool. Now for the text, we need to cut this as well inside the text widget, go down and let's now below that add on a color property as well. And that will be colors.gray. And again, this will be 300 like so. Okay, my mistake, we can't add a color property directly onto the text, schoolboy error. So I'm gonna cut that and do a style property first of all. And this will be a text style and inside this textile is then when we can add a color. So if I save this now, should be working fine, cool. So now we just need to color these two things. So let's scroll down, and this time we're gonna color these white, not gray, so they stand out a bit more. So first of all, this one, let's say color, is gonna be colors.white, if we can spell it, and then the same for down here, color is gonna be colors.white, awesome. Save that and that is looking a lot better. So now everything is looking pretty good. The next logical step is to create the location screen, 
which is this thing right here so that we can choose different locations and when we choose one of them eventually we're going to show that location on the home screen so we're going to update this right here so we're going to start to flesh out the template of this screen in the next video